One of the main aims of the CSIC is to acquire data from built assets. And this presentation is about how to add value to that data. And uh, we monitor built assets and we gather data mainly to answer questions. Is it going to break? When is it going to break? How much is it going to cost? And the answer to these questions is based on the quality and how, to, how, how do we analyze that data. And I want to talk about the value of data and I got these ideas from a CSIC workshop. So maybe you are familiar with them. And the, the idea is that raw data is useless and it's only when it helps us to take decisions and take actions that we, that we really get the value of data. So data is the starting point to make a decision, but it must be easily exchanged and we should be able to put it in context. So only then we can analyze it and we can make decisions and take actions. And again, there's where resides the true value of data. And this uh, comes into BIM, and BIM is all about data. And you have seen this diagram many times. And the idea is that BIM will allow to maintain information about a built asset throughout his entire life cycle. But uh, the diagram is not, the thing is not as simple as the diagram, and there are many challenges. And one is this exchange of data. Exchange of data is very difficult to accomplish. And all these lines are very easy to draw, but then in practice it's very difficult to accomplish. And one of the main challenges to be able to exchange data, uh, well, I have here one example. And uh, you know that not all our data goes to the cloud, right? They actually go to servers underground. And synchronization of data is very difficult. Just try to synchronize your calendar between your MacBook your Windows desktop computer, and your Android phone. And one obstacle to that exchange of data are that model standards are not sufficient yet. And Building Smart and the Open Geospatial Consortium, they develop standards to be able to exchange data, but they are not sufficient, and infrastructure assets and monitoring systems cannot be described by them now. That's why we have developed an IFC extension that is able to describe monitoring systems for infrastructure assets. And with this uh, extension, we'll allow to be able to model the systems in BIM models, and these BIM models will be able to have the sensor data included in the BIM model. Another challenge is data, data visualization. And uh, for that, BIM tools are being developed within the CSIC that will allow to model the monitoring systems and to manage and visualize the data directly on the BIM model. We have cases studies. One is the breaches at Staffordshire that Liam was talking about. Uh, and here we will model the monitoring systems and we will test the capabilities of the BIM tools and of the extension. We also are going to use uh, the James Dyson building that it's at the engineering department of the University of Cambridge. And in this uh, example, the James Dyson building has been instrumented with fiber optics in piles, columns, beams, and slabs. Um, as we will see in the next <laughs> slide, <laughs> this is the expected outcome. So a beam tool uh, where you can model your monitoring system but also you can use it to automate some of the health and monitoring tasks. So you can display, uh, display all your data directly on the BIM model. Some preliminary results. We are able now to generate IFC files that contain the infrastructure asset, the monitoring system, and also the sensor data. And these files are able to be used in several authoring uh, software solutions. Another result is the development of a web browser viewer, and this will allow to also visualize the infrastructure asset, the monitoring system, and the sensor data only in a web browser. And this gives a larger, larger audience to be able to disseminate this data without the need of a specific authoring tool. What is unique about this approach? Well, there are three main points. One is that uh, 
you are able to display the monitoring data on directly on the BIM model. The other one is that you have the option to do it through a web browser. And finally, that you can exchange all your models using IFC. Concluding, there is a lot of data being gathered and monitoring systems are becoming more common and complex. But only when we can exchange this data and we can put this data into context, then it's easy for us to analyze it, to take decisions and take actions. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>